What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In this episode, well, on with the interlude segment. You blew it again, Lord Crump. You sicken me. Look, I'm sorry, seriously, we thought, we thought we had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance, understand? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. Uh, what is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again, and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Oh boy, and we're back to this again. How fun. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Tech? Was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Gladys's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data in the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Gladys has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Gladys can enter his room. When Sir Gladys is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech, really. Ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up, as you did earlier. Alright, so off to have another adventure as Princess Peach. At least these interlude segments get uh, more and more interesting like as the game goes on. But I will say that they are like kind of the weakest point of this game. That being said though, like the game is overall just so much fun that that's the only reason why these end up appearing uh, less fun than the rest of the game, I guess. You will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Gladys' room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp lit about it. Alright, so same deal as before. We're looking for a room with the green lamp above it, but uh, yeah, we're going in the opposite direction of where Grotus' chambers actually are, so... Let's see, there's another elevator, that's not what we need. There's the green lamp. Alright, let's head inside and see what we gotta do. Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean, a potion that makes me invisible? Yes. You will enter Sir Gladys' room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay. How do I make it? You must first set all of the potions in the desk in the concoctionator. It's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the x Dog researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. Okay, so we have a little bit of a puzzle. First things first, let's go around and collect all the various different colored potions that we need. And now, we can start reading these memos. Do not place the red potion on the far right. Alright, what about you? Place the blue potion next to the red potion. Okay, there's another note over here. This one says, Place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Alright, sounds good, and I believe there's one last note on this left wall that says, Place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. And if that's the case, I think the order of potions is uh, red potion over on the far left, then we have the blue potion, then I believe it's orange, and last but not least, it is the green potion. 
Are you sure they are placed to your liking? Very well. Then please cue the button in the control panel located in the left side of the room. Alright, so let's do this thing. Here comes the fun part now. We get to pretend we're a scientist and make a potentially very dangerous potion to make ourselves invisible. Hooray! Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. Alright, so like this is very similar to, um, you know, the baking like mini game in the original Paper Mario, except this time we're playing with science. But uh, yeah, anytime the beaker just stops, make sure you follow it and uh, just press the button. And that way you can slowly but surely fill the beaker all the way and uh, hopefully concoct yourself a correct potion. I'm pretty sure I put all the beakers in the correct location, so hopefully uh, this turns out correctly. Now, the last part is like the trickiest part, so we need to be careful uh, with this section. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. Alright, so I got a timer going. I'll just wait the 30 seconds and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright, so that should be about 30 seconds. Hopefully we're right. It is like bright green, which is, um, I think the color it's supposed to be, so... I think we may have done it, guys. By my calculations, it should be finished, but... Did it come out correctly, do you think? Yes. Very good. Then please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. Alright, well, down the hatch. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But, I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent! No way! Now we know the true reason behind Tech's plans. Oh fine, I guess, if it's the only way. I guarantee you Tech has some way to like see invisible things. Tech, you're such a creeper for a computer, man. You disgust me. When you go into Sir Gwellis' room, first locate the disk with the recorded data. Then insert that disk into the personal computer and connect to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now, please go to Sir Gwellis' room. Yeah, 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 I'm on it, Tech, even though, like, this is probably all just a farce, so you can see me walk around, you creep. What? Okay, that was creepy. Why did the door open even though there's no one here? Malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? Uh, sure, one of those is correct. Anyways, now let's walk down this really, really long hallway and um, make our way over to Grotus' room. That way we can sneak in and find that data disk. It's kind of funny how, like, even though Peach is supposed to be entirely transparent, you can still see your shadow, but I guess obviously they had to do that that way, you know, we could see where we are. Also, it's kind of funny how, like, you can hear her high heels as her footsteps, even though, like, she's not supposed to be wearing anything right now. This must be Grotus' room. Now, where is that disc? Well, it's quite obvious. It's actually in the back. So, here we go. Found it. This must be it. And we got ourselves a data disc, which actually looks like a Famicom disk system disc. Um, oh yeah, now I insert the disc into the computer and connect to the network. Alright, and uh, Grotus' computer is actually a Famicom disk system. It even has the boot up screen and everything. Look at that, it's amazing. It's a cool little easter egg. I did it, yes I did it, it's working! Good job, Peach, you used a computer, congratulations! I know it must have been really hard for you to do that. Also, this is like the slowest computer ever, but um, I guess because it is booting off a floppy disk, that makes sense. Looks like it's all done. I better put the disk back where I got it. Alright, finally, jeez, let's go and stick that disk back there, like I was never here. You know, funny thing about that is, um, the yellow disks for the Famicom disk system, I think, were like the normal, like, disks that you could buy in the store. Obviously, it was a, uh, peripheral that was only released in Japan, but I think the blue disks or uh, developer-only disc, so it's kind of funny how there's both of them there in Curtis's office. Or maybe I'm thinking of like the N64DD, because I know the DD had a blue developer disc, so maybe it was that and not the Famicom. Might be getting those mixed up. 
Anyways, that is completely irrelevant. Let's make our way back to uh, the science room and make ourselves visible again, shall we? Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I will teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here, the green potion, right? Yeah, I bet Tech was hoping she would forget to change back into her dress. What a relief! I was kinda worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now, please return to the computer room. Alright, well, back to the computer room we go. Thankfully the game, like, cuts out all the travel for us, so, uh, yeah, we immediately end up back in, like, Tech's weird computer cave. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No. I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now, please use the communicator, if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good, then I'll use the communicator, thanks. Yeah, you better tell me, Tech, I don't trust you, man. I'll take a hammer to your screen. I've written my message, would you send it? The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay, take care, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. Princess Peach, I will protect you. Alright, this is getting weirder and weirder, man. I don't like it. Thankfully, we're done with that, and now... We can move on to the Bowser section, which is good, because I need a slice of normal after that crazy pie. Oh man, we're in Twilight Town now? What are you doing here, Bowser? And is that Lord Crump that I see? What's he doing? Blech. What is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out! The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go to it. Alright, uh, might as well start talking to this guy, so what's up? p p p p m m m uh huh c crystal star I have no idea, really. p p please spare me! Alright, he doesn't know anything. What about you, Lord Crump? Oh man. I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bob bomb somewhere around here. This stinks, really! This whole deal is extremely bad, 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 bad! I got a cowboy up and make a serious comeback here or else! Bam! Got it! I am the man! Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop! Hot diggity dog! Buh, buh, buh! The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me! You were that suspicious guy! You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Buh? Somebody there? Hey! What's the big idea, turtle boy? You looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet! This'll help the crump come back! Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know, now. Uh, actually it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, big guy. I mean, no, wait. What am I afraid of? You? Buh, buh, huh. If you think you can take me, then try it, chubby. All troops, report! Oh, snap. He's got an army with him. Buh, buh. Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? <laughs> you dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up! Oh yeah, we got our own army now. Whoa, well played. 
Wee hee hee. So what's it gonna be, tough guy? Buh -huh. Oh, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dork super bomb. -bom. Oh no, it's a giant grenade incoming! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off! <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn! Uh, that might not have been the best idea, Bowser. Oh, crud. And he blew them both up. Good job, Bowser. Good job. And I guess that is the end of the Bowser interlude segment. It was too short, man. Too short. I'd love to see Bowser and Lord Crump go at it some more. It'd be pretty funny, honestly. You, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship to Black Skull anytime you like. Uh, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Oh, I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need. For real. Now get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it. Then am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario. Uh, Mario. Who's that? We're gonna stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? I'm quite sure they'll be fine here on their own. Come now, Mario. Let's go. Sounds good to me, Flurry. Ready, amigos? Cast off! Bye, everybody! See you later, Kealaki! Off to Rogue Port we go. I like how the hole that we tore in the mountain is, like, still there. That's pretty funny. Well, that was a fun chapter, but I'm glad it's over and we can go back to Rogue Port now. And thus our adventure came to an exciting end. Huh. The ship sailed smoothly to Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. For I found something even more precious than doubloons, yes. Even now I hear the crew writing to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you. Flavio. At last, we return slathered in glory to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, huh? But of course, you all know that, and you know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us, perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. W what Hey, where are... You're all leaving already. Oh, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You're anxious to continue your own adventure also, huh? One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how they say, shoot for the stars, huh? If ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Keylaw Key, just say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow, comprende? Yes, yes, you giant skull. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Ahem. Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I'll be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, huh? Alright, bye Flavio, you magnificent man, you. Well, that's that, Mario. I suppose we should go too. Let's make for the door. You got it, Flurry. We're done here. 
And hey, an email! Mario, those dulcet tones! That dear Princess Peach has sent you an email! Indeed she has, let's check it out! Dearest Mario, I have good news! I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this Tech, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and as strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Princess Peach. Mercy me, your princess is quite the go-getter, hmm? Let's get to work as well. Alright, but I think we'll wait until the next episode to do that. So if you guys enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.